So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you uh, a little bit about myself. I started teaching with the district 10 years ago and I've been uh, teaching first grade all the way to fourth grade. And I found out that second grade is my favorite. And that's the moment that I started creating. I become a CISO ambassador uh, during the pandemic area when we were creating things in Canvas, we were doing activities. So I said, might as well go through the certificate and take the classes and decided to create things for the community. I don't have a lot of um, uh, activities out there, but I'll show you a little bit more about it. We'll talk about it later. later. So right now I'm gonna want you to, okay, let me see, okay, so, I don't know if you can click on the Padlet CISO activity for TELPAS. Would you be able to do that? Um, no, you can... we can't click it, but will you click it and then um, add it to the chat? There you go. Yeah, I'll do that. Let me put it in the chat. It's just, just, just a little question, uh, just to see where you are if you, do you know how to do UC Seesaw? No, I don't have any idea or how to begin. And I do have a Seesaw account, that's all. Just click on the plus sign. And if you can put, please write your name and the school that you teach under the column. And please do not do the share your Seesaw activities here. We're gonna do that towards the end. Thank you, everyone. You can, you can still keep working at it. And we'll check it out later. So let me talk to you a little bit about the TELPAS. And as Michelle said in the beginning, TELPAS is a test language language proficiency assessment system. It's an assessment for English language learner, uh, K through all the way through 12, to test their language um, proficiency in our four domains, is, which is listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Uh, bilinguals and denials. But I always thought that this would be a great, great tool to use also with our monolingual students because they're all go also English language learners, right? Especially now that I heard that the star is changing, it's gonna be a little bit more writing uh, than the, just a multiple choice question. It is it's gonna be great for all the students. So I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go show you my seesaw, one second. I'm gonna stop sharing the screen just for a minute. Okay, just go back to share the screen. So I'm gonna show you, this is me. Um, I really like to work with my students and just say sorry, they're teaching since 2012. I also am not fluent, but I speak a little bit of Italian. Uh, so I think the student can create a digital portfolio with their work. They can ac be accountable for their learning in Seesaw. Also, the parents can see what the kids are doing in the classroom. It doesn't matter the student's age. The stu Seesaw can be implemented in the classroom. Um, a student can also see their peers' work and can comment and or like uh, their peers' uh, portfolio. So I'm going to show you an example, and I'm going to uh, post, post in the chat my, my page so you can access it. Now we're going to get into the meat right now. Okay, you can save it and also it will be on the presentation as well. I'll be sharing the presentation at the end of um, my presentation at the end of this uh, class. Okay, so one of the components of doing activities for CISO, you can have it created directly into the CISO account, or you can also do a Google slide. So I'm gonna show you a little mistake that I did. So if you're interested in creating activities, I'm gonna show you these two uh, activities, okay? I'm gonna show you this when I left it there, especially for the purpose of this training. As you can see, this, is, this one is uh, writing practice. 
I'm gonna make it big so you can see the difference. I put recordings on each one of them. I'm not gonna get into the details of that, but you can see how the text is a little bit smaller and probably when the kids would see it, it would be, it looked kind of like confusing. The uh, letters are too small, too into each other. So um, I can play. I don't know if you can hear it. But anyway, when you create the activity directly into Seesaw, you, um, they're gonna, you're gonna have this problem with the letters, okay? Now, the second one that I wanted to show you, okay, go back to the library. For me, I created this one on a Google slide. So in a Google slide, you're able to change the wording and make it a little bit bigger. So it says Matias and his parents were camping in the woods in Texas. It was very late and very dark. Matias was sleeping inside the tent. Thump, Matias woke up. What was the noise, he thought. Thump, Matias heard a noise again and it was coming from outside and Matias. Now the student can write the middle and the end of the story. So I gave some points there. You can keep it in writing, I mean, uh, like that for older kids, or you can also add the, uh, uh, the, the audio. And then I provide on the second page so they can write. Okay, so um, going back to my library, Were you able to open the library? Yes, we were able to access the library from the link you shared. Wonderful. So I don't have that many right now because I'm still creating. I have this one, uh, third grade to help us practice. This one has a video and then they can answer the questions. There's another one over here. This one is for first grade practice listening uh, and speaking. And I put directly the instructions of just recording for 90 seconds. At this moment, you can give the student a timer and so they can just record it twice because on the telepass, on the real telepass, they can only record twice. I have this one, which is my favorite one. Um, imagine that you're trying to set a new world record. Do you want to make the world biggest cupcake? I know I'm going a little bit too fast, but I'm gonna give you 10 minutes to do an activity so you can practice. Uh, this one is past tense, right about the best birthday you ever had include details about about it and here's the the instructions and here are the uh, recorded instructions i have this one uh writing for social studies right about Martin Luther king jr include details about his life dreams and accomplishments we do have to write something about social studies so this is perfect i use this all the time with the students. And then I have this one, I think it was a little bit for towards kinder and first grade. This one is uh, think about the different forms of transportation, describe the different forms of transportation and use the telepath notebook to bring some ideas. I give my students a composition book um, so they can use for telepaths because I want them also to show what they're doing. And that way I can go back and say, okay, this is what you did wrong. This is what you, so I can coach them for the future. Because during the telepaths, we give the students a uh, scratch paper and a pencil. And I do encourage my kids to write. And also 
this is one of my favorites too. This is for speak, speaking and this, uh, it, the kids identify with this one, right? You had to compare or contrast a crispy taco and a soft taco. And I just made it so simple when I think that we just have to record, but they can also, you can put the Venn diagram and make it a little bit of challenging for the other, other students. So, um, and those other activities. But right now, what we'd like you to do is I want you to look over the six activities that I have, select one activity, um, click on the heart. So this is what you do. And I know you, most of you, you select on the heart and you save it to the library. When you go to the library, you select the activity that you wanna, you pull it up, it should be right here. And then you can uh, open it up and then you change it. Let me see if I can do it. I know it's mine, but let me see if I can I'm gonna use this one. Add it to the collection. I'm just gonna use this. Let's go back to my library. No, it's not there. So I wanna give you like maybe 10 minutes so you could do that, save it, try to see if you can um, edit it and then change the wording. You can change the picture by using one that you already have or something from the web. Uh, you can change the instructions. You can change anything you wanna change. And then at the end, uh, I just want you to go back to the Padlet and copy. So this is what you do at the end. For example, I wanna share this one. You click on this three dots and you put share activity, get the teacher link, you copy it, and then you go back to the Padlet and you add this plus sign right here. Do the right click and paste it and you click on publish. And that's how you add it to our Padlet. So I'm just gonna give you 10 minutes to play with it. If anybody has any questions. I saw that, um, so Deborah, you put that you, um, haven't yet started with Seesaw, were you able to click on the link and um, log in? You mean log in to see the, to see Miss Jenny's uh, library? Yes. Yes. Okay, awesome. Because then um, when you heart it, it adds it to your library and then, um, you can edit it and change anything you want in the activity and it will not alter Jenny's original. So that's something great about Seesaw is if, um, cause her instructions may be in Spanish. And so you can take out her instructions and then put your voice in at, and you know, so your kids hear your voice. Okay, so that means I would have to make an account real quick and then come back and click on her library. Yes, and you should have an account through SAISD. Are you, okay. are you a, um, what is your position? Sitting right now, dun dun dun. <laughs> um, that was a good one. No, I am, I'm actually a seventh grade science teacher, but I know that a lot of this can transition up to the middle school. Okay, so. Tell me, yes, I'd like to know, I guess send me a chat, right? If, or if you don't wanna say it out loud, I'd like to know if, um, you can get in. Can get into what? Into Seesaw as with your own account. Oh, well, let me just check real quick. Hold on. Okay. And then everyone else take Jenny's um, activities, take them, re-record, make them your own, save the ones that you like, come back to the chat and click on her um, activity library to get back to it. 
if you need me to send the link again, I can. It's always great to share. And if you have a, an activity that maybe you haven't um, re, you know, taken from Jenny, but you have one you want to share, you can also add there, right, Jenny? Awesome. Great point. I love it. Yes. Yes, that's a great idea. Okay, I just checked in my uh, single sign on and I don't have it. Um, that is something that I was thinking would happen. Um, because isn't Seesaw is more uh, elementary and then Canvas or whatever is more secondary. Yes, and there is the ability to have a, um, a free account, but I know in SAISD we uh, pre-populate um, the accounts for teachers. And so if you didn't have one, it's because of your grade level. Gotcha. And I'm wondering, um, you know, so you wouldn't have the specific like ability to assign from Seesaw, but to see the activities and kind of steal the idea is, is still there for you. It's right? still invaluable. Yes. Yes. So if I make my own and then click on it, will it add to my own account or do I have to be, does it have to be through SAISD? That I am not too sure. I would say, um, were you, so did you try your SAISD email and it didn't let you um, activate an account? Oh, no, I haven't done that yet. I just went, what I did, I went to- um, Single sign on. I went to single sign on to see if I had it there. So my next thing is now to- try that. So I'll be back. Okay. She can add it into the single sign-on account. It has just to, at the app, install it. Okay. Well, let me try that. Um, hello, just for an understanding, I have single sign on Seesaw. So how do I transfer stuff from her to my Seesaw if I saw an activity I liked? Uh, if you heart it, it will um, appear in your library. So I've hearted a couple of these and then when I go to my library, they will be there. Oh, okay. It'll automatically do it. Thank yes. you so much. Okay. Unsuccessful with finding Seesaw in my add an app. It's not in my, my selection. So now I'm going to try just to open up a free account. Okay. I understand. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. We have like probably eight minutes, Michelle. Uh, your session ends at 9.15 this morning. Okay. Jenny, I really like the graphic organizer activities you have. And then I love that taco one for yeah. practicing speaking and explaining. I think that's a great idea. I love that one, yes. And that was just, sometimes you're just thinking about something in the morning and I'm like, okay, let me do this real quick. This will be fun. And I think those are the best activities. Those are the ones that the kids say like, oh my God, yes, let's do this one again. Yes. And then they can, they can even compare how they start in the beginning of a year and then do another one in December, then, then do it all in January. And by February, we, they, 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 they tell us, they're like, oh, wow, I have grown so much from the beginning, the middle, and um, by the time they take the help us. So yes, I sometimes I come up with that idea at the spur of the moment. <laughs> Absolutely. And the math yeah. one and, and having them practice speaking. I think that's great. I think that's why like in the beginning, it's this can be for dual language and monolingual students because they all need that academic practice of speaking. 
yes, always be able to explain. And that's how I tell the kids. That if you can explain it to someone else, you're already checking for understanding. So, you know, you can always correct your mistakes and things like that. So, yeah, I'm excited about this. Really, I really love Seesaw. I do too. <laughs> I would love to see what other teachers are creating. I was like, I'm antsy. <laughs> Hopefully they share with us. I Means Tinsley is not being uh, successful. I, I see that, Deborah. Um, I would say if you can, since you can see Jenny's library, it's too, um, you know, copy the way of how she's putting those graphic organizers in, right, for the speaking and writing um, part and so on of the telepaths, and then to transfer that into what, how it would look in Canvas. And if that's something that you needed support with, because it's kind of a different thing from this, right, Canvas, um, I know our office and I, we would love to support you in doing that and reach out and contact us. I'm gonna put my email for you as well. And would you um, type in what school you're from for me? Okay, I added a link in, Jenny. Um, it's not my personal lesson, but it's from Seesaw and their block boards that they had. And it's one of the ones that I just really liked. So I shared that in case other people had not seen that yet. Okay, great, thank you. You found this one on Seesaw and? Um, that's one that I have shared, I have um, saved into my library from uh -huh. Seesaw. Um, uh -huh. And it's all about oh. their new block boards. And it is a, um, the multimodal learning that they pr have um promoted started last year based on science and how students learn. It's really great if you ever searched Seesaw Multimodal or Seesaw Block Boards, if y'all haven't heard of it yet. No, I have not, but thank you for sharing. Blackboards? Block Boards. Before we leave, I just wanna know, I'd let you guys know, um, very excited to share this experience with all of you. And I know it takes a little bit more time to kind of create activities in the beginning, but as long as you practice, just, just the, let the imagination go. Uh, as we as teachers, I think it's very important that the students use technology. I'm very good with technology and I, I'm huge. I like to use it in the classroom as every time I can. I guess education is going more towards we're separating a little bit from um, the pencil and paper and going um, to technology. So I'm gonna share in the chat for everyone the presentation. Is that okay, Michelle? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so let me close this screen real quick. So I'm gonna put it in the chat so you can have, have access in the future. So you can uh, look at it and get the links. And so everyone, it has been a pleasure being with you. Go ahead, Michelle. Yes, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, I know that this, that what Jenny uh, shared is definitely valuable seeing her ideas. Um, so reach out if you have any questions to us and thank you for coming. Make sure you have signed in.